So you have your list block set up, ready to go, and you want your users to be able to click on one of the items on the list and then be able to see more details about that particular list item. We can do that with Softer's list details block. And let's quickly walk through how we can easily set that up on Softer. First, create a list details page and then add your list details block to it. There are a couple options that we can choose from. Hover over the eye icon on the thumbnail to preview or simply add the block to your page and play around with them. For this video, we will use the one with three column view here. The first thing we want here is to connect our data source. Make sure to select the same table as the list block that you want to pair this list details block with. Once connected, you can also change the conditional filters here. Let's move on to the features tab and connect all the fields respectively. There are usually a bunch of um, placeholder fields here. Simply delete the ones that you don't need. And for list details block, there are actually a couple fields that you might not be able to um, delete. Um, this is set up by a software, but you do have the option to hide them. Once we're happy, let's come back to the list block on the list page and let's go to the features tab. Scroll all the way to the bottom bit and here you will see the section called items, item on click. We can select open page and then select the list details page as your target page. You can choose to make this list details page open on a separate page if you want. If you want your users to be able to see the list details blocks content without actually leaving the current page, you can also configure the action to be open modal and then hook it up with the list details page. Clicking on the list item will bring up a pop-up model that displays the list details content without directing user to another page. You can size the model from small, medium, large, or almost full screen. There's another action called open external URL. For the external URL option, you will need to have a URL field set up for your table. This then allows your users to go to the respective URL link that is associated with the list item that they click on. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing for more, like this video and share this with your fellow no-code builders. Until next time, ciao.